Hello everyone and greetings from Nixperia and welcome to the unboxing of one of our evaluation boards. In this particular case, we'll be unboxing the NCA9555, which is one of our new I2C GPIO expanders. The Nixperia NCA9555 I2C GPIO expander provides an elegant solution when additional IOs are needed in electronic systems. This low-power device allows design engineers to reduce PCB design complexity and BOM cost. The NCA95XX family includes many variants of our I2C expander products. These include the NCA9555, the NCA9539, and the NCA9595. The NCA95XX family provides general-purpose I.O. that are included in applications to reduce interconnections which enable optimized layout. The product on the board features a TSOP24 package, however, HWQFN packages are also available. The features of the NCA9555 include a single supply voltage range of 1.65 volts to 5.5 volts. Two ports supporting eight channels each with 5 volt tolerant IOs for a maximum channel count of 16. Latched outputs with a 25 milliamp drive maximum, which makes it capable of directly driving LEDs. Supports fast mode ITC operation at 400 kHz. All devices have a configurable target address via the three selection pins, with the exception of the NCA9539. There are two pins and an open drain active low interrupt output. Also included on the boards are shield stacking headers for Arduino Uno R3. And now a quick close-up of the 9555 device. The J5 header allows a shunt to connect VCC to either 3.3 volts or 5 volt core voltages. As Arduino Uno is native to 5 volts, the default option is for the shunt to connect to the 5 volt supply. Using the J11 shunt, the user can select to connect GPIO 7 of port 0 to either the push button or pin 8 of the J9 header. In the EVB, Port 1 IOs are connected to a 300 ohm series resistor and LED. Configuring port 1 as outputs through the software will allow the user to turn on or off the respective IO LED. Now these components are DNI on port 0. However, the footprints are included in the case the user wishes to manually populate. The NCA9555 port channels are connected to J9 and J10 where J9 connects to port 1 and J10 connects to port 0. The I2C connections SCL and SDA are found on J1. The address pins and interrupt pin are found on J4 and can be controlled and monitored through the Arduino Uno. The test points for the supply rails can be found on TP1 and TP2, where TP1 is a connection to ground and TP2 is the connection to VCC. The JP5 and JP6 headers serve two different purposes. One is to provide additional connection points to VCC, SCL, SDA and ground, and the second is that they can also be used to connect to the Adafruit Trinket M0 which is another microcontroller board which can be used in lieu of the Arduino Uno. The evaluation board connects to an Arduino Uno microcontroller. The microcontroller, once connected to the PC, provides power, communication and software interaction. There are many compatible Arduino Uno variants that have similar options. One such board is the Seeduino by Seed Studio. As opposed to the USB female port A connection, the Seeduino connects through micro USB. For reference, both item links are provided on the top of this video. To connect the microcontroller board, carefully align the male header pins of the evaluation board 
to the female header of the microcontroller and push to ensure mechanical connection. Now connect the USB cable to the microcontroller platform. The last step for proper hardware connection is to plug the USB into a PC or laptop. In a web browser, navigate to the Arduino IDE web page and download the latest version of the Arduino IDE. This link is shown on the top of this video for reference. The documentation tab of the NCA9555 product page includes the Arduino Uno sketch folder. Once the link is pressed, a zip file is saved to the local machine. For reference, the URL is provided on the top of this video. After opening the NCA9555 demo file through the Arduino IDE, ensure that the correct board and port are selected. The program can be flashed onto the microcontroller by selecting the Upload button. The text Done Uploading will show on the bottom left once complete. The program writes to port 1 to flash LEDs back and forth. Pressing the push button reduces the period between flashes, therefore increasing the flash frequency. The other Arduino sketch NCA95XX main allows the user to interactively control the NCA9555 EVB. This is accomplished through an interactive Windows GUI that interfaces with the sketch code to control and communicate with the NCA9555. After uploading the sketch to the microcontroller, navigate to the NCA9555 product page and download the NCA95XX EVB software zip file. The zip file includes an executable installer titled NCA95XX. Proceed through the installation process to successfully install and approve all changes. The program can now be found under the Windows Start menu in a Nexperia folder as the NCA95XX EVB GUI. Upon invoking the program, the GUI will take a few seconds to properly handshake with a microcontroller. Once the connection is established, the bottom left will display hardware connected and the page will refresh with register values. The GUI is split into two different levels of interaction. The first interactive region displayed are bit representations of the addresses that control GPIO configuration, output state, GPIO restatus, and polarity inversion. This is meant to serve as a high level of interaction with the device to manually select GPIO channel features. The second region represents lower level interaction by directly writing hexadecimal values to the registers. Reads on the register can also be performed and are updated on the respective status indicator. A quick example is configuring P10, which is port 1 bit 0, as an output in writing a high value. To turn the output on, change the channel to OUT from IN and check the Boolean box to indicate a high state. This will turn on the LED. To force an output low, uncheck the box for low to turn off the LED. For more information regarding the NCA95XX devices, please visit Nexperia.com.